ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعة من يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما يا ايها يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما الحمد لله we have been able to gather here on this blessed day of Jum'ah and this is a blessing that we must thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for and we must constantly be in gratitude and shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen us on this day to gather in a time when people are not able to gather so in this time we should be extremely grateful to him subhanahu wa ta'ala because he has kept us safe and he has kept us healthy and he has allowed us to see one another in a community setting. Most of our lives however these days are surrounded by our families and many people have many different circumstances in their families. So this is an opportunity for us, for those of us who have the ability to, who have the opportunity to, to connect with our families in a much more meaningful manner. And one of the ways that we can do this, as I can see most of the people here, are elders. So it is likely that many of you have children. And there is this concept in our religion of growing with your children. You're supposed to give them this type of tarbiyah as they grow. And you're supposed to engage with them and you're supposed to love them and you're supposed to show compassion to them. However, there's a, an age that when it's reached, you're supposed to act to, to them as if you are their friend. And you're supposed to view them as if you are their friend. But being their friend does not mean that the tarbiyah has ended. And so what happens is many parents, unfortunately, they begin to become the lesser of the friends to their kids. Or other parents, what they do is that they're overly exerting with their children and so their children are not able to make that connection I'm not here to tell you how to raise your children I'm just here to say what it means to be a friend to children when children go off and they're engaged in their school activities extracurricular activities with their friends online whatever it may be that is one of the greatest spheres of influence on their minds that is one of the greatest influences of influences on their hearts. And so anything that they hear and absorb in those times, it is likely that those things will stick with them for the rest of their lives. Friendship is an extremely important part in our religion. The people who surrounded the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam were known as the Sahaba. They were the companions of him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Companion, just another word for friend. So we should be companions to our kids and encourage our kids to be companions and friends to us. And so the tarbiyah that takes place at this time, when you're engaged as a friend to your child or as a friend to your parents, is not just eating together or watching the next or to go show together, or just doing whatever. But it's also an exchange of ideas. It's also an exchange of growth. 
It's a time to influence one another in a positive light, in a positive manner. And if the parents are not the ones who are taking this role of friendship for their children, then the people who are going to be taking that role are going to be the people who are corrupting the mind in the general society that we see. And you guys know what I'm talking about, especially in this Bay Area community. There's much corruption that's open. However, if a hundred people gather around to bully one kid, and that one kid has one friend who stands up for them, that bond between those two people is going to be unbreakable. That kid is not going to look at the hundred people attacking. That kid is not going to care about what that, those hundred people think about him or her, they're going to find value in the friendship with the person who stands up for them and defends them. They're going to want to engage with that individual. They're going to believe the same things as that individual. And so it is the responsibility of parents to their children and children to their parents to be that intimate friend for one another. And alhamdulillah, many parents have much wisdom to offer, much knowledge to share. And it's in this time where technology has become so needed that parents seem to be the ones who are learning from their kids. So I'm also here to remind the parents that don't forget of the wisdom that you possess of the experience that life has given you, the stories that you went through, the struggles that you overcame. Those are things that your children will cherish and want to pass down to their children and so on. Your lives have been meaningful, especially a sign of your lives having, of being meaningful is that you are here in this pandemic, on this day of Jum'ah, worshipping Allah. This is a sign that you have been chosen by Allah, that you have been accepted by Allah. So reflect on your lives. Recognize that you have something to give your kids. You have something to pass down. You have something to teach. Be that friend to your children. Be the person who your children can when they're asked, who do you love most in this world after Allah and the Rasul, they can follow the hadith with extreme genuineness in their heart and sincerity in their heart and they say, I love my mother and I love my father. Be that parent to your children. Your children will respect you. They will be saved from the things that society faces. They will be saved from the evils of the corrupt people in their own age group. And they will be able to carry on a legacy that is protected because you put in the effort for them. And the religion of Islam is going to live on. And imagine meeting the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Imagine meeting him on the Day of Judgment and seeing him on that day and him smiling you, smiling at you and embracing you. Imagine that tears of happiness that will be flowing down your faces. And then imagine him say to you, this is because you passed on the thing that I brought to you. And you were able to pass it on to another individual and them to another and them to another. And for the child, Know that when you enter into Jannah, that success that you will be experiencing, for most children, it will come, and they should realize this now, and they will realize it then. That that happiness and success the child will experience is going to be because they have been kind and merciful to their own parents. Because they love their parents. Because they respected them. The success in this world and in the next lies at the feet of our parents, O children. 
and the future of Islam, O oh parents, lies in your hands to pass down to your kids. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for success. We ask Him for ease in this difficult time. And we ask Him to allow this trial that has faced us to be a means for our success, to be a means for our forgiveness, to not look at these times with despair, but to look at them at a time of joy that Allah is choosing me over and over and over again in every moment to be an abd to Him, to be a slave to Him and to obey Him. We thank Allah for this and we ask Him to keep us upon this ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد بعد ما هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب جزاكم الله خيرا استغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما بارك على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد أن هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه إن الله لا يخلف الميعاد الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون أذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم ولذكر الله تعالى أعلى وأولى وأكبر وأقيم الصلاة